I, I don't know if it was for me, exactly. Uh -huh. Just being a baller, being a player, you love the game so much. And and at that point, did you like coaching? Did you Were you thinking about that part of the game, or you uh, just was strictly hooping? At that point, I was strictly hooping. Okay. Just strictly hooping, just... Mm -hmm. Yo, I know I didn't want to go back to uh, to China, uh -huh. um, so I was just strictly hooping and just staying in shape, just working. Uh -huh. And you know, one thing led to another, and he ended up calling me. He's like, "Listen, this is what I got for you. Come on as an assistant, try it out for this year." And I said, "All right, let me try it out." Right? Word. Fell in love with it first day, man. Wow. Word. Fell in love with it. That's dope, man. I and mean, what and what made you fall in love with it? Like, what what about it? Cause that's a whole different aspect that's and a whole, whole different lane. side of the game. Yeah, that's a totally different <laughs> So lane. how'd you fall in love day one? Day one, what made me fall in love was the process, right? Okay. Mm. So in coaching, it's a process that you go through. Uh, every kid is different. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm always been big on, you know, maintaining my relationships, not burning any bridges, uh -huh. you know, learning from every aspect uh -huh. of life. So you, you get to get these young kids and I saw I saw myself in a lot of them. Uh, okay. You know, that's yeah. where it really, really hit home with me. Okay. Uh, first one in my, in my in my immediate family to graduate from college, right? Congrats, mm -hmm. bro. So. That's a huge congrats. Yeah, bro, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Bro. But I saw that in them, and mm -hmm. and I wanted them. A lot of them, it was their first time even okay. going to college for, for, for their immediate family. So I'm uh -huh. like, yo, I, I see something in you, man. There, there's a purpose for you, so, you know. Giving them drills, giving them the inside, insides and outs of the game. I played uh -huh. in the conference, and uh, you know, seeing them grow within the classroom, just being a mentor, yeah, you know, on and off the court, and seeing them, you know, work hard, extremely hard throughout the week, and then in the game, it's coming to fruition. They working hard. You yeah, seeing yeah. the numbers, you seeing them putting it in, yeah, and you seeing their their hard work pay off. That's what really really got me got okay. to me man and i really enjoyed okay. it and you yep. said that was day one you day one that. Yeah. that was day one man mm -hmm. so you was meant for that that you was day one know. yeah word yo and i don't see i don't even feel like it's a job i just feel like this is something i just love to do yeah word. you know um so i'm just excited about the future i'm excited to keep giving back and uh I mean, coaching is is beautiful thing. That's what I love to do, man. And how 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 important is it to you to incorporate like life lessons within teaching them basketball as well? It's everything. It's everything to me. <laughs> My ultimate goal is to have our young man graduate mm. and yep. be pillars in their community and give back mm -hmm. above everything else. That's what's up. Um, we always uh, and Coach Jones, you know, I take this from him. He always taught us books before basketball. Mm -hmm. so, Coach Jones. Coach Jones. Coach John D. Jones. You you know John D. when you oh, see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down in Florida now. He's down okay. in Florida now. Okay. Yeah. Um, but he recruited all the Mar Martinez boys. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he recruited myself. Like, he recruited, you know, Styles from the Bronx. Styles. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo. He recruited all oh of us. God, <laughs> all our... a funny dude, bro. <laughs> Hilarious, man. That's my man. But, um, you know, he, he really put in us, like, Yo, books before ball. You can't get nothing done if you don't if you if you don't hit the books. So yeah. fact, free yeah. school is the goal. That's all I'm pushing. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Like, yo, you want to go to school? Go to school, but go to school for free. free. Fact. Like That's you a fact. you too talented to have your parents paying for school, being in debt forever. Like, come on, fellas. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Ladies too. You ladies out there hooping. <laughs> yeah, yeah for real, man. Like it doesn't make sense to me, at least, that you can be the best player wherever you live at, but then. You're not putting in the work while others are putting in more work than you. You know that person that's born with the talent that doesn't work? I'm sure you met that person a oh, million yeah. times in your life, right? right? And how many times have you skipped that person along the way? Yeah, yeah man. I mean, listen. You, you, you... <laughs> yeah, that started me yeah, from right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you got to live in the gym, man. Yeah, Thank we, you, we, man. We, we love gym rats who, who's always in the gym putting Please in the work. express that, coach. The, 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 the work and the grind, that's the process, man. I hate... Yo, what kids love to do right now is uh, <laughs> social media. All right, yo, yeah, just yeah. record me real quick, man. Let me put this one <laughs> hand for 20 minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> get an offer, get 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 or see him in a game or, or get him to your school. And Yo, bro, you don't, you don't hit the gym? What's wrong with you? VOH. Forget, your, forget your school. Get him in VOH. Yeah. Forget the school. Get him in VOH. And look, you don't even got a nickname. Yeah, that's a fact. You feel me? You ain't put in that work, man. Come on, man. put the work in, fellas. Put the, put the work, work in. in. Ladies, put the work in. Fact. Fellas, put the work in. You got a coach right here telling you, don't skip any steps. 
put the work in. Nobody cares how talented you are. Another another fact. Parents put the work in. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. Cause uh oh, you, talking you, that talk you, now. You yeah, get spicy. Yeah, man, you might have to throw Gladiator on uh, because. Oh, oh, nah, oh, nah, 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 I'm playing. Don't throw. Oh, I'm I'm about but, to but, change the music. But I say that just because it starts at home, yo. If you can't, yeah. if you got your kid lazy on an iPad all day and mm. and on behind a screen all day and. You got a basketball court in your development. What are you really doing? In what, your what are you, yard. What are you in, in your yard. You got the hoop in your yard. In the yard. We would have killed yard. for a hoop in our yard. Real, right. So what are, you, what are you really setting them up for? I had to go a couple miles just to get to the court, man, around my way. Mm. Say that. I hear that. See, you saw our court. You came out for VOH Day, so you came and you saw the court where we grew up where at. Where we grew up at. Word. Word. You feel me? Ain't no different. You see the cracks are still there. Still there. <laughs> when we was in the first grade. For but, real. Hey, bless, bless sweat and tears on that court, bless man. Fact. Fact. Bless sweat and tears, and that's what it's about, man. But, you know, these kids are, are blessed nowadays. Even my kids, man. Got a hoop, hoop in front. I be... Catching myself blacking out sometimes on my <laughs> <laughs> Go on, man. Go, go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Right. Go outside. Get some shots up, man. Right. Yeah, right. You still on this iPad? What I bought this hoop for? Matter of fact, you know what I had to do? I had to travel. They probably dealt with your stories. You one of those dads. And you know how many miles I had to travel the hoop? You got a hoop right outside? Don't right. tell me one of those. I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, whatever. They pull up Google Maps. They pull up Google Maps like, Dad, that's a two-minute Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were broke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Shut up, Mike. But I guess I guess that's why we work so hard to put our kids in that position. Right. Right? But it's uh, right. it's challenging to say the least when you. <laughs> it is, man. When we're yes, different. Um, but it's been good, man. It's been good being a family, man. I love it. For real, man. Yeah, I love For it. real. I, I, go ahead, my friend. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say I did dip out a little bit because I had to go get Maddie, you know, our next guest, but. I know I missed a portion of the interviews, but I wanted to ask you specifically about VOH basketball and the talent in VOH. Yeah. Like as you're refing, I know you're on, you got your referee hat on, mm -hmm. but when when you're refing, do you sometimes get a glimpse of that guy and you're like, nah, let me take a note of this dude. Hold on, let me let me uh let me let me. I'm not gonna tell Brett about this, but I, <laughs> I got my on um, this one right here, this one right here. Yo, Brett, what you say his name once again? What's his nickname? Oh, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, there are a few guys. You don't gotta say who, but uh, there are a few guys that have been on your radar that have either that have either had their stock go up or had their stock go down. Yeah. Are there guys that you've seen in that in that realm? No, definitely. Um, I never stop recruiting, man. Mm -hmm. I never stop recruiting. No matter where I am, no matter if I'm officiating, walking down the street, I meet a random person. I mean, I always have my coach hat on. So, mm -hmm. um, it's been guys that I've seen in the league that I'm like, yo, how did this kid slip through the cracks? Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. been guys that I've seen in the league that I'm like, he needs a little bit more development, but this kid is going to be very yeah, good potential. in the future yeah, right, yeah. Right. Uh, if he keeps his head on straight. And it's been guys that you just see like, yo, this kid is going to get paid for this. He's mm -hmm. a pro. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a pro. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm always looking for talented guys who, who are willing to work hard and who's willing to put in the work. And... Uh, being coachable is huge, man. Yeah. And you see that, Yo. you see that right Please away in the league. Say that yeah. again. Say that one more time because <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all. I didn't have some kids in the Havistra gym that I told to their face, like, yeah, you could get buckets, but you're not coaching. You can't be. Yeah, you right. can't. Like be nobody coach. could coach you. So yeah. where are you gonna go? What school are you gonna go to if nobody could tell you that you're wrong, bro? Right. Yeah, man. I mean, being being coachable is everything. It, it can make the difference between you staying at a school and you getting kicked out of a school. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Coaches, coaches have a variety of different styles, right? But if you let me push you to the next level and I feel that I could coach you, mm -hmm. me personally, I feel like I could get you better. I feel mm -hmm. like I can make you an all-conference player. Okay. I feel like uh -huh. we could do some things. I could take your game to the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you pushing back at me, yeah. you coming back at me, and then the team is seeing that, Word. Yo, it it's work. either me or you, and it yeah, ain't gonna be me. Word, word, word. Fully understand. Yo, what was the uh, young yeah, brother's that. name, Brad? Young brother in charge. He put mm -hmm. in double duty at VOH day. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. he's not at college, or nah? Young brother in charge. He's right now. He's at um, where is he at? Jersey. Okay. Isn't he down Bus? Isn't he at Bus? St. Joe's. Oh, St. Joe's. St. Joe's. Okay. St. Joe's. Okay. 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 Shout out to St. Joe's, New Jersey. Yo, actually. St. Joe's, uh -oh. while we're on the topic, mm -hmm. uh -oh. y'all need to check in. Y'all got a lot of kids from Rockland County yes. heading out to New Jersey. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. What's going on? A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. For a while. So imagine, too. coach, if some of our kids didn't decide to take that jersey route. And wait, hold on. Before y'all hit me up talking about, I'm not trying to do anything with recruiting. Yeah. I don't care about the recruiting. <laughs> work, work. I can't pay me enough yeah. to help you out. Yeah. Believe me. What I'm saying is just based on talent and me being from here, mm-hmm. I noticed that there's a lot of kids that if they stayed and they went to, let's say, Spring Valley, mm-hmm. let's say they went to North Rockland, let's say they went to Nyack, instead of going wherever else they go. I'm not singling out any schools, yeah. but let's say they stayed in town. I guarantee more kids will be going to bigger schools Fact. if yeah. more kids stayed, stayed to home. play. Yep. But all the but, major players go right to Jersey and yeah, dip out. Yeah. And right to Jersey. Jersey, Long Island. Shout out to Long Island, too. Yeah. Man. Long Island got some some crazy hoopers. Yeah, and upstate. Yeah. Them upstate boys, yeah. upstate New York, them yeah. boys up there is 